Wow. And insane. <laughs> oh, don't you love don't you love when what you want to work out works out? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What's up, Jamers? Today we're playing Grixis Midrange in Alchemy from, from the Neon Dynasty Championship piloted by Jim Davis that went 15 and 0 in days one and two. It's in the top eight actually right now as I'm speaking. So uh, I I love this deck. I love mid-range decks, and I you know Jim Davis does turns with me. If you're familiar with my content, you've seen this already before. Uh, I have a couple of them on this YouTube channel already, so check those out if you'd like to see more of his commentary with me in our Streamlink tournaments. But we're playing his deck today, and my oh my is this insane. We have Kaido for the only blue card in the deck, but we do have Crystal Stalker, Connoisseur, and Town Razor Tyrant that are absolutely bonkers with reflection of kiki jiki i just have a deck this literally one one deck ago with reflection of kiki jiki in it and it was absolutely insane with the discard card so we're going to pair that with crystal stalker connoisseur and hitting our opponent's lands with town raiser tyrant over and over again also there's a really cool interaction with blood tithe harvester where you can make copies of blood tithe Har blood tithe harvester with haste and this would sacrifice it at the beginning of the next end step but this ability of Blood Tithe Harvester lets you sacrifice itself to kill an opponent's creature, providing you have enough um, enough blood tokens to do that. But it creates a blood token when it enters the battlefield. So this can this combined with the Kiki Jiki can kill a creature every single turn, providing the Kiki Jiki stays on the battlefield. We have a lot of uh, removal spells that are braid, power word kill, flame bust bolt, voltage surge, and I put Meat Hook Massacre in here. Uh, instead of duress, because this is best of one, and there's a lot of mono white here in best of one. But other than that, this should be insane, and I can't wait to show it off for you today. And it all starts right now. Stinkhole. More like Stinkhole, am I right? Matty Ice. Search for glory? Oh no. What is happening? Search for Soren. Oh, that's pretty cool. But you know what's really cool? I can... Attack this, make a treasure, flame bless bolt the... They block it. I can't quite voltage surge the two... I can voltage surge the two, three... Oh yeah, that's the play, right? That has to be the play? Stop after attackers. I'll attack this. Make make this. Voltage surge. Target this. Sacrifice this. Four seasons. How's it going? This kills this. In darkness, then. Cast Kaido. Draw a card. Then I go... I 
attack this, make a treasure. Flame Bless Bolt Lolf. Draw a card. Now, what do we Land Crystal Stalker. Just starting down the dispute. You're good, but I'm better. Then we get to do this. Reflection. Discard a card. Attack with both. They learn which they get like mascot or something. Then I draw a card. I get reduce. Sure. Draw a card. Graveyard Trespasser. No secret, I, can't... I need to play around Blood in the Snow. And the best way to play around Blood in the Snow is to go Soren Plus, I think. For the sake of all Innistrad, my will must be obeyed. You wish to know my secrets? Very well. A little surprised they're doing this now. I guess they have two field of ruins. Oh, they're playing they're playing blue mana. Oh. Okay. I don't really care if that takes damage. Reduce my reflection, unfortunate. I do have another one chilling here. Don't need to play around blood in the snow. Attack first. Plus this. All the value. All of the value. Plus. Revelation. Alright. I'll just cast this. And then, do they have blood in the snow, or do they not?
I guess I'll voltage surge this. Like, it's not like they can cast anything on end step from this thing anyway. Unless I'm wrong. They can technically get, like, a sweeper. Vanishing verse. Fable Tribal. I no longer need to do anything else. All right, we plus Kaido, draw a card, Flame Bless Bolt, no and uh, then we just pass again. That is a meat hook for three. Sure. That's only a temporary band-aid opponent. That's gonna not, not gonna stop us. So I think I'm gonna exile their lolf or their Soren. With this. And then I will plus this. Draw a discard. City Stalker. I'll be taking that now. Things you love to see. Take that blood in the snow. I took a sorcerer's broom. <laughs> No, he drew it off the top! What the heck? <laughs> no! No! What the heck? Stop! Stop it! I'm gonna exile this. Say a dad joke. Uh, let's see. Singing in the shower is fun until you get soap in your mouth. Then it's a soap opera. <laughs> All right, cast Rahilda, cast Fable. Draw a discard. Now, what do we have here? I want to cast this so it's a game in two turns. Two, four, six. Technically seven, but whatever. Alright, this is the block. I will discard these two cards. I'm going to go ahead and start off by discarding this. Okay. Discard the other one. Town Razor. Then we do this. Oh, this is broken. We do this. Then we attack with these two, make a treasure. Oh, crap. Blood Tithe is only as a sorcery. That's fine. That's a double strike. Draw a card. I know something you don't know. 
Then we go land town raiser. Target that one. So they're dead on board if they don't draw on something else good. Verse three, six, seven, eight. So they're not dead. Am I ultimating this? Yeah, because I can get Crystal Stalker every time I deal damage, right? Now I'll just wait. No reason to do it now. Well, that's a crystal stalker. I still need to do it though. Nice. This creepers keep. Is a white forsaken crossroads. Probably a mid range deck. I know. Just what I want to see. I'm gonna go Mirror Breaker here just to gain additional mana next turn to cast like Kaido plus a Braid if I don't draw land. Could be Esper Control. Although. They. Okay. Do I want Flame Blast Bolt or a Braid? Probably a Braid since that can kill a. Artifact that they play one. Good draw. I'm going to have to watch out for Wandering Emperor next turn, so how do I play around that? Okay, it's fading help. So they're a Leer deck. Do I cast Fable or do I cast Kaido? They both make a creature. I'm gonna cast Fable. Takes a little bit longer to develop. They could have uh, Divine Purge. Is there a double white right now? They have Divine Purge, then. Pluses. That's the reason why I kept the braid. I wonder if they counter this. Cool. This is a 
Jesus. And then if they have Divine Purge, I can... I can draw a card off of this and use my blood token, so I use all my artifact. City Stalker will discard the Fable. Think I'm okay with that? Voltage. I think I'm not using Voltage, actually. I can copy my Blood Tithe. Wow, two Kiki Jikis is interesting. They have a removal spell. I'm gonna. If I use Kiki Jiki on Blood Tithe, then they can kill Blood Tithe in response. If I use Kiki Jiki on the other Kiki Jiki, they, they use their rule spell in response. Oh my. Something you don't know. I think I am Casting City Stalker right now. No, I actually think I'm attacking first. They have to block this. And then I use this to kill the City Stalker. And then I hit their last card out of their hand. Masterfully played around removal spell there. Sick. Now what do they do? You have to draw, like, Farewell or something. What did they draw? Land? Oh my gosh. Of course they did. It's okay, I can kill the City Stalker with the Reflections. Another City Stalker. I'm just gonna kill it with this, though. And then we're gonna discard their card out of their hand. This is insane. 
I love it. I need to cast a spell, right? So it doesn't come in nighttime, so they can't loot. They have to draw instant speed removal. No! <laughs> no! Instant speed, discover the formula off the top. Are you kidding me? Come on. At least that's the most expensive card in their hand. <laughs> of course, why not? Why freaking not? Am I discarding that last card? No. Gosh, this is so insane. Oh my gosh, I discarded a Marius call. <laughs> oh, 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 sick. This is a hand that I like. Now let's get Rahilda down. Really? Dragons? You don't have removal for it. I can play it during this turn. Invoke justice. Oh, it's reanimate. Wow. Reanimating dragons, huh? Oh, Invoke Justice can be gotten off of Vel Velomachus Lorehold. Wow. I think I'm in love. Turn one, hold up. I can turn one, hold up Flame Bless. Or I can turn two, hold up a Braid. I think I like turn one, Flame Bless. Crap. Well, that's a yikes. At least I get to flame blast their Kumano card. And then I get to abrade their Bloodthirsty. They're a thundering ride you deck, huh? So I guess I'm just gonna pass and plan to abrade their ride you. Okay. So I'll abrade this. And now I Crystal Stalker. So what do they have? Removal spell? They might have just burn spells. They did have a burn spell. Yikes.
You have two unwritten rules. One, two. <laughs> All right. Am I graveyard trespassing? I think I am. I could just fable. I think I want to fable and blood tithe, actually. Because Blood Tithe can kill their stuff, and I want to get that down. I want to get both of these down early, and I'm at 13. And if they have a Raiju, I can kill the Raiju with the Blood Tithe. Uh huh. Things you love to see. Thundering Rebuke. Yikes. Discard up to two... Cards. I don't think I want to discard anything. We'll get the Rahilda down. And then we'll get the Graveyard Trespasser down. This is going to exile... Bloodthirsty Adversary. So with this make a treasure. All right, what else do they have? They have a scoop is what they have. All right. Uh, I, think, I think that's worthy of a keep. We have our colors. We don't have blue yet, but at least we have our colors. I mean, we have blue, but I mean blue because I, I want to cast Blood Tide Harvester. Hmm. Oh, there we go. We have our blue now. We cast Harvester or Rahilda first? Rahilda. Always, always Rahilda. Rahilda on the play is broken. Precipitous drop. Oh, I get to play against that deck. Yikes. I don't want to play against that deck, though. I'll do this in minus so I have a higher chance of drawing into my fourth land for Soren. Here's a 3-3 three, three dragon. Another precipitous shot. They really don't win drawing cards, huh? card. Let's draw a discard. I know something you don't know. Huh. I think I discard the harvester and then I play this play Harvester, and then play a Braid. Because if they kill the Harvester and put a 1-1 counter on this, they can kill my Kaido, and I don't want that to happen. But having two Precipitous Drops is really good in the early game against my deck with, turn, with the Rahilda on turn two. Artwork kill? I thought. Am I using a braid? Probably not. Okay, now I am. Poundraiser. Draw a discard. Now, what do we have here? Huh.
So power kill can't kill town raiser tyrant. They have to venture and kill town raiser right now. Pull a one one counter onto the goblin. City stock. Goodbye, Soren. Goodbye. So many lands. There's no secret I can't uncover. All right, let's draw Crystal Stalker or Town Razor. There we go. Sick. I think I'm holding him back because Kaido is really important. And I don't want them to kill City Stalker and then kill Kaido. Duress. I think I'm trading the City Stalkers here. If they, if they had the um, Wandering Emperor, that would have been sad. So many lands. I don't even think I want to attack because the Wandering Emperor is a card. Do I just make them have it? I mean, if they had the Wandering Emperor, they would have cast it last turn. If they have the Emperor here, they kill this, they put a 1-1 counter on this, they put Kaido to 2, and I have nothing. I think I need to pass. Okay, they don't have Emperor. What do they have? March. Wow. Wow. See if they get rid of that hive now. They got rid of it. Okay, next turn. A braid. Not terrible. Draw discard. More lands. At least this is a land that's useful. I have five lands in the graveyard. <laughs> I've been watching your moves. Impressive. If I don't use this, it gets discarded from duress. Ooh, Rahilda. I can't cast Rahilda if I draw a card from Hive. You could also have an answer to Hive. I 
I think I prefer minusing Kaido and playing Rahilda. Agrimaling. Akanuma. Getting back Soren? No, they don't have Soren in there. Getting back Triumph. At least I can't cast it. Another Kaido. Am I attacking with Hive? Probably not. Just in case I draw Crystal Stalker. Or a Time Razor. Wow. And insane. <laughs> oh, don't you love don't you love when what you want to work out works out? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Did they really rope me all the way until then? Is he really doing this? King Miles? Opponent. Could be playing on mobile, I guess. I want my fourth land for City Soccer, so I'll draw a card. I discarded my Meat Massacre because I'm already, like, so far ahead. I probably don't need it, but it could come back to bite me, I guess. Yeah, Jim Davis versus Jin Ginky is going to be fun. I almost said Jinky. Am I blocking this? Like th this is a this is a wandering emperor, right? Like, they want me to they want they want me to try to trade, and then wandering emperor this has a plus one plus one for a strike. Pretty obvious. So I Crystal Stalker, and then they're forced to Wandering Emperor. We'll say I have two of them. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to attack. But maybe they have two of them. 
If they have two of them, I can still Flame Blast Bolt or Power Word Kill. And I still get to draw a card from Kaido. Ready to do See if they block. We must protect the people. <laughs> Try not to miss. There were the two wandering emperors. Do they have more emperors? Talia? Sure. Ganyo? Spellbinder. That's gonna take my want my crystal stalker, but I can still cast that next turn with the land. So I'm not going to. Discard the land from the thing. Voltage search, pretty good. Am I crystal stalkering this turn? Let's see if I draw meat hook. I drew meat hook. That was pretty insane. All right, sometimes you top deck them right, and sometimes you don't. What are they portable hauling? My meat hook? My my blood token? <laughs> Sick. That's very nice, very nice. Well, well them playing this deck might change my mind. Might cast the Blood Tithe? Nah, I'm just going to cast Rihilda. Rihilda's just like, if I'm not playing Rihilda on turn two, it's not going to get any value at any other point in the game anyway. Cemetery Gatekeeper. Doesn't have anything to exile, but it does have First Strike. But I think I want to Power Word kill this, and then attack with Rihilda. Ooh, I got a Fable the Mirror Breaker. And they scoop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sometimes you win the game. Sometimes you lose. This is the one time you win the game. And the opponent scoops. And for the next haiku or any other type of poem that you would like, I'm not making you one. That is the only poem I'll ever say in the history of my streaming career. Overgrown farmland. The card. I'm playing Mirror Breaker though.
If Tilda. This exiles. Bro, you're locked in. I'm trying to win! Hallowed Haunting? I don't know if I have an answer to that. Another Fables Pog Champ? I guess I can just go, like, super wide. And they're at four already? Jeez. They could just die. Like, I have two removal spells. Captain Everhart. Okay. Rune. So I don't get a draw off this rune either. Oh my gosh, it's Saint. Like, even without the Flame Bust Bolt, I can use the Reflection of Kiki next turn to make a copy of Blood Type Harvester with haste, and then use the Blood Type Harvester with haste to kill the 1 1 and attack. Or, like, oh my gosh, it's so good. All right, Jamers, I have almost a 70% win rate with this deck. It is absolutely insane. Uh, I have the sideboard open here for you best of three friends. And if you made it this far and it's your first time watching me, thank you very much. And consider subscribing and liking the video to help the almighty algorithm. But anyways, I hope you like this deck and play it for yourself. Jim Davis is uh, currently still playing in the top eight of the Neon Dynasty Championship. So I really, really hope uh, I'm actually going to tune into that right now. But other than that, I'll see you in the next video right over here. And as always,